good YouTube. Finally bringing the pickup on the LeBron three lows that I was able to acquire a few months ago. Uh, I got two pairs of shoes and some cash and I gave up my Toro, there are the infrared 23 sixes. So to get two LeBrons and some cash, uh, obviously that was a great trade in my, in my eyes. So I took that. This is one shoe you're not going to see a lot of reviews out and you're not going to see one in this condition. The camera's picking them up like an almost pure cocaine white. And they are, they're a little yellowed on some spots, but for the most, it's in completely perfect condition. And I'll show you guys how the older LeBrons, especially these lows, don't even compare to the ones now. The quality, the cushioning, the padding, everything is just perfect. One of the biggest complaints you'll see on the LeBron 3 is that it will start to yellow and it's because of right here. Now these are black so you don't have to worry about anything there but they will start to fade away and there's really nothing you can do with it. It's really hard to find any pairs that have ever done that. So just keep that in mind if you guys see that and somebody says they're like dead sock or they're not. They probably really are if they say they are because it's really hard to keep those in great condition. I'll show you guys the swoosh here got the red and it's like kind of like a cushion it's pretty nice and then it's outlined in the black and then you can see the stitching and the white around the outside of that that wraps around and also this is pretty much exactly like the high it's just a little lower down they pretty much kept it true to its original form which is kind of cool you don't see that often on all of them a lot of times they look a lot different like the jordan 11 lows that's a great example it's just lowered but they're pretty much exactly the same this toe box is just such a nice material see the perforations coming through and then starting at the bottom of the shoe this is not a lace lock it actually wraps underneath this which is what i was telling you the thing that kind of starts to yellow but on the top of it, it's got this little plate and it's the LJ23 logo. And then if you guys can see here, it's got some crazy print to it that's actually embossed so you can feel it. Um, and it's just such a nice material and it wraps around, like I said, up here and then it goes all the way to the front of the shoe and then wraps around. And then on the medial side, well, it's on the, on the outside as well, but the three had a full zoom unit. Uh, there was no visible air. You can see back here where normally you would see the air, but that's where the zoom unit sits. You got the two on the inside of the shoe and then three on the other side. On the outsole, we got a red swoosh, the clear white bottom, and on the bottom, you have the state of Ohio with the star representing Akron for LeBron. On the tongue itself, you can see the lion head that's in a bubble form. It's really nice. And like the earlier pairs of LeBrons, it comes with those nice laces. This has the silver uh, aglet on it with the Nike swoosh. The nice black leather that up here on the tongue. You can see how thick that cushioning is. I mean, that's, that is a lot of padding. I mean, that's more than most shoes get. This is clearly, there's no retro LeBron, so it's A1 quality. And then on the inside, you can see LeBron, and then it's actually got his silhouette down there with the basketball, wearing the LJ23 shirt. And then the production tags on here, January 11th, 2006, all the way to March 17th. Also on the back tabs here, you see the LJ23, the black, and then the stitching that goes on the outside of it, the white stitching. So as far as the three lows go, how do those uh, compare to the other LeBron models for you guys? I, I think the Sprite colorway, the true Sprite colorway of the threes, it's nice. It's just, it's too much white and a lot of yellow. It's, I prefer the, the dubbed named Sprites that are on the eights and, you know, the, and the elevens that just came out. But either way, it's a really nice quality shoe. I'll throw this on feet so you guys can see what they look like. In the comments, let me know what you guys are looking forward to the most once LeBron's retro. If you guys are looking forward to maybe seeing like some PE colorways, if they would come out with those. Um, one through six uh, with Ken Link models or Jason Petrie for the newer models. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.